Hello friends. So here we go to the problem number 47 on a circular lamina. Okay. So here what it says. A circular lamina of 50 mm diameter is standing with the one of its points on a rim on HP. And the lamina is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. The diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the lamina rates is parallel to a VP. Okay. So draw the projection. Means so there is a circular lamina inclined to the HP okay so the third position the diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the lamina rates is parallel okay so one of the diameter is parallel to the VP okay so to start with so here we have a circular lamina of 50 mm dia which is resting on the HP okay so next the lamina is inclined at 45 degree to the HP okay and the if this is the diameter which is resting this diameter will be parallel okay so this will be rotated like this it will be parallel to the VP okay so just to start with so we will have the reference line Okay, so this is BP and this is the HP we say. Okay, so now it is resting on the HP. So and the diameter is 50. You just take a 25 mm radius. Just a one circle. So this is our resting point. We will draw up. One horizontal dia. One and one vertical. Okay. So just to divide that one. So here. Just I will drop this one with a thin line. Okay, so resting side will take here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, and the dimension. We'll write it here with a closed arrow this pipe okay take this uh, make this circle dark okay so once this one is done so take a projection upward Clear. Just take from this position. Just take this position. So now, once you take this one, you just drop this one with the dark line. Okay, so we are viewing from here. So this is our A dash, so this is H dash, B dash, so this is G dash, C dash, this is F dash, D dash, and this is E dash, okay. So when this one is then, so take a reference point, it is inclined at 45 degree, okay. So this is a 50 mm line, you just take directly, so 50 mm. Okay, so this is our A dash, this is E dash, and this is 45 degree. Okay. Now when this one is done, just take a reference from each point and cut from the both ends, the midpoint. Take a midpoint, just cut it. So 
so once this one is done this is h dash b dash g dash c dash f dash d dash okay so once this one is done so as usual we take a first rightmost line and a bottommost line okay so then we'll take all horizontal lines vertical so this is f and d f and d till here so this is g and c so g and c till bottom and this is b and h, b and h till here and this is a e so this is a b c d e f g and h so join this this motor Okay, so like this. Okay, so now uh, this is the diameter which is passing through the resting side. This is the resting side, and the CG is the diameter which is right angles to this diameter. So this should be parallel. So CG should be parallel here. For that one, you just need to measure what is A to E. So it is around the 34. Okay, so you just take a line. 34 okay so you can say this is a and this is a e so we are just rotated like this so now this is a new at the midpoint so you can just say like a, it is around 17 so 17 just drop a line so this is equal to 50 because the diameter of the circle is a 50 okay so take a parallel line and first drop a line at a 50 okay so now we got these two lines so we need to take a these two lines so just measure on this one how much it will come okay so from here to here it's a 17 okay so from here to here it's a 6 so same here it's a 6 and here it's a 17 okay so 17 here so 17 here okay so just drop parallel lines okay so just we have taken like this so we will come on this point so now from this point to the b okay and to the d you just measure both the things okay so from this point it's a b here and from this point it's a d here okay so similarly from the center line h and F again both are not same we we'll take a first H and we we'll take a F here okay so this is B C D E F this is a G this is a H okay so now again trace it get like this okay so now this gc is parallel to the xy line okay that is what uh, the condition is it is parallel to the bp okay so now to have a projection see uh, just to have a recap so what we have done so we took a ae 
okay so ae then we took uh, the midpoint of the ae then cg length that is 50 we have taken a 50 just to consider this midpoint on this midpoint from year to year and year to year and year to year and year to year so we have just marked that one on the center line and we draw the parallel line and from each point we have a two lines to the either side okay one year one year that is b and d and h and f we have taken a reference point from there and we have cut an arc there okay so once this one is done so to have the projection so first thing topmost and the rightmost okay so this is c dash so we will take all horizontal projections okay so c is here so this is c dash so b and d so b and d is here so this is d dash and this is b dash a and e so till here so this is e dash this is our a dash so b and h okay so you can just drop it till here so this is f dash and this is the h dash and last one is a g so this is our g dash okay so now again so from a you start b c d e f g h and again to the a okay so we'll just trace that one and mark it like this okay marking to the points okay, so this is how exactly we can do the things okay the simple one a circular lamina resting on the hp so resting on the hp 50 mm so we have taken a projection and it is inclined at 45 degree to the hp 45 degree we have placed in the then so we there is a condition like so the the diameter which is right angles to the resting diameter okay so this is the resting point this is the diameter right angle diameter is a cg so this should be parallel so we have taken ae ae okay then we have reproduced this one and we have just taken a projection and we have completed it okay thank you